Yo, yo, guys, call me Safe from Off Talks Fab and Prepping. In today's video, I'm going to be going over my Faraday EMP proof electrical bag. So, this is where I keep all my electronics, power supplies, you know, communication equipment, and important things like that. Anything that I believe I need in a situation. Now, one of the things I'm prepping for in a small, in a more, in a less extreme way is some kind of, you know, nuclear Armageddon, whatever you want to refer to as. I very much do not believe this is going to happen. I, this, these are one of the things I just, I kind of have something to prepare for, but I think it's one of the most unlikely situations. Like as I've said before, I do believe the most likely thing to happen in our current day and age is some kind of major civil unrest in, you know, a big city or a big country. That's what I truly do believe is most likely to happen. Hopefully it never does. You know, I might be a prepper, but as much as I enjoy buying this stuff, I also enjoy my creature comforts at home. But one of the things I do kind of slightly prepare for is some kind of nuclear apocalypse. And within a nuclear, you know, blast, it will cause an EMP. Whether it, obviously, if you're within the blast radius, you're fucked. No offense for saying it like that, but you are. But outside the blast radius, things might be still affected by radiation. But another thing that comes from a nuclear blast from a warhead is an EMP, or from solar flares, or other things can cause EMPs, electromagnetic pulse. Electromagnetic pulse, for anyone who doesn't know what that is. So I do keep all my stuff inside this EMP Faraday bag. So this is where I keep all my technology, all my important things, you know, stuff like that inside this bag. And also it does it does act just like a dry bag as well. So when I was purchasing, I was looking for dry bags and then stumbled online and I thought, oh, I thought, what was that thing? I was watching Terminal List on Amazon Prime and that's what got me thinking about this. I looked into the kind of bag he was using for one of his, you know, like spy missions. And it turns out as well as protecting against, you know, the reason he was using the film was to protect against you know people seeking his information of this device. Not the reason I've got it, you know, it can be used for that. The reason I've got it is because these do provide some kind of protection against them, like you no know, force for you know, it's shutting down devices, damaging devices. So that's the purpose of this. And now I'm going to go over all the items. The bag itself is made by I've got the I've just Hundi Hundafi or Hundafi or something, but I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, it wasn't cheap at all. I will put a link in the description down to the bag at least. Maybe some of the more important items in this. But a lot of these are pretty mundane items that everyone's going to have anyway. But any of the most important items, I will put a link to them in the description down below. So we'll pretty much just go from what I'll grab out first. So first thing here at the top of my bag. So like I said, this is all electronics. It also keeps it dry as well. So in here is all my communication equipment. There I have my headset. I've got a little, you know, less expensive headset i've got the adapter for that headset i've got the charging thing for it i've got the wire to charge it with i think i've got two wires in there to charge it with i've got an extended range antenna and obviously i've got the handheld receiver itself and i've got the normal like short range antenna and the long range antenna in there so that's everything to keep inside that bag there so the next time we'll get out is just something i've ready to grab near the top pretty much so this is my head torch at the moment i've got the batteries in but yeah, it's got some kind of safety thing inside so they don't corrode. So you can keep batteries in this one. I will put a link to this description out. But I've had this year's one of the first head torches I've ever brought. Never done me wrong every time I took it camping or hiking. I usually take this one out of my bag and take it even if I'm not taking this kit. It's just a good head torch. It's got red light in there for lower light situations. And it's got a fairly decent beam with them four lights there. And it does take four rechargeable batteries. You just charge them. You can have charge them separately or charge them from the charging port there. Also does have a little red light on the back, so if you've got someone behind you, and it does need a bit of a clean. I used that not so long ago, actually, to warm my dog at night. So, yeah, my head torch there. Uh, there is, I've got two battery charging here. One's my primary and one's a backup. This is the backup one, that's why this one's been not been unpacked. So, a backup battery charger, because for all my rechargeable batteries, for them ones and other ones as well. Um, I was trying to get my primary one out, but it might have fell down the bottom of this bag when I picked it up. But I've got another one in there somewhere. So here we do have my main flashlight inside this kit. This I've had years again, but a cracking flashlight, waterproof, SOS built in, and you know, strobe effect. Good little bit of kit. Can't be the exact name of it, but I know it's a decent brand, or a fairly decent brand. I think it costs about 30 quid. Purchased it. So the next item I've got here, which I do keep in its own little separate. Uh, I don't know if this is very date proof. I don't think it is. It does feel like some material. This is just a dry bag for keeping it waterproof. In there, so if I do have this out separately, but here is my solar power bank. 
So this can be charged from the sun. And at the moment is three out of the four lights, which pretty much means like 75% charged. And does a trick this, I've used this for a week once. When I, when I was, you know, like camping with my family, not like camping in the woods. But it managed to keep everyone's phone charged without having to have it outside in the sun for, you know, like four or five days. Um, oh, there's my primary battery charger and a wife for it is somewhere in there, in, in a separate compartment. That will fit in the bag, I've got it in, but that would itself. Um, next time we've got here, I'll just get this one out, is... These are a pair of NVG goggles, night vision. These are generation one, they're called Yukon or something. The cracking bit of kit, recent purchase, testing them out, no fault whatsoever, as an IR light on it. Now the reason I can't get out and show you is, is because I did purchase this second hand, you know, that's why I got a fairly good deal on it, I got about 188, do you know, with postage and all that. Cracking, it goes brand new, like upwards of 300 just for this alone. But it did come with the uh, head attachment as well, so it was a good deal, but it was missing the lens. Now, the lens, the purpose of it, for the uh, lens that goes over it, is to protect it from direct sunlight if you need to test that in a day. So, I can't test it in day, I've tested it in night, obviously. So, when it's not in use, I will have to just keep it in here to keep it safe. So, the next item I'm going to get out here is simply this. This is my, where I keep my batteries. Now, the only thing that's not in here that will be in here is, this did come with one battery with it, but I have ordered some rechargeable ones, uh, I think three of them, rechargeable ones off eBay because they're hard to find, but I've ordered a load, uh, 10, you know, one use ones, but a decent brand off Amazon, both of them don't get in a few days, but I still wanted to get this video out, pretty much it's just batteries, I've got plenty of batteries in there, none that fit at the moment except for the one that's in it, but I've got more on the way, and I also keep all the wires in here for all my chargers, this is where I keep my backup wire for my com, com set. I also have one in there. I keep my charger for my phone. The one while it's got my phone charger on it. And then I keep ones for all the other stuff. And that. This could have my phone in it as well, but my phone's not going to be important after a you know, situation like that. I'm not going to be able to communicate with anyone. I'm not going to need to. So, you know, purpose of it. All right, so the next time we've got here. I have just got a little screw set in here. Now, a few of these things, you know, there are screw on the, you know, battery packs. So that's the purpose of them. And, you know, my communication equipment, you, that's the reason, main reason they're in there. Can't be that. Here we do have a single little, you know, like, flashlight. Just a backup one for that one. It's decent. Not, not really near as good as that, but it is waterproof still. It does do the job. And decent, you know, light range. So, that's that. I do have three batteries for that in here, but it's the only one that takes the, the AAA or AA batteries. Uh, AA batteries, this takes one AA, I've got three in there, this is the backup, two in my backup pretty much. My primary way of seeing it at night now, obviously the night vision, then it would go on my head torch, then my flashlight, then that one, redundancy is one of my biggest things. And as well as having that power bank of redundancy, I do have full power. I do have this little wind up thing I got recently in a, I think it's about a mystery box I purchased. And it's a little decent bit of kit, it charges my phone. I did, I did it while charging it, I only got up to about 2%, so you have to sit there for hours, but it will charge your devices, it will just take a long time. So another alternative way, for some reason, my solar power bank does run out of battery. And that is everything I keep inside my Faraday bag, my power kit, whatever you want to refer to as. So that's pretty much more or less, it's, England is not my first language, but it's the only one I know. Tongue twisted there myself. So... This is my personal kit. This is just what I personally think I need. You might not even... I've not seen many other preppers with something like this inside their bug out bag. Now, as a prepper, I do try to be prepared for as much as possible. I have different concepts and different ideas on prepping than a lot of other preppers will. But this is something I thought was important. I was going to get a dry bag anyway. It's a fair bit heavier than a dry bag. Because obviously the materials that I use, it's, it's like metal and, or something. You know, something that stops it electricity you know an emp from getting through so it's meant to be heavier so it's a lot heavier than a dry bag but i think it's worth that little bit of weight for the fact that if something does happen catastrophic along the lines of why the reason to get this an emp i still have access to technology the night vision will give me the advantage at night traveling at night or you know protecting myself at night or whatever i'd have to do at night in a situation looking for supplies looking for vehicles whatever i'd have to do it give me that ability to move around at night unscathed and a lot less likely to be noticed than someone who's walking around with a flashlight. But I do still have backups for that. It just gives me that advantage. I think that's one of the biggest things. The comms equipment gives me the ability to listen in on other communication channels or speak to other people who might also have communication. That's another big thing that I think is important. Communication, 
and the fact that I'm able to provide some sense of power to people and, you know, wait to see in the dark is what I really do think is important. I'm not the only one of these bags. I do have a small one in my brother's kit with all of his electronics in. So, yeah, I do think it's a really important bit of kit. But that is more or less it for this video, guys. If you liked it, leave a like and all that good stuff. Comment anything you have to add or anything you would add to this kit. And that's more or less it. Peace.